Welcome to Both Sides, where we explore technology from both Western and Chinese perspectives. Today, let's dive into semiconductors, the core of modern electronics and computing. Semiconductors are crucial in technology, bridging physical hardware and abstract software. They go beyond materials like silicon, encompassing transistors, circuits, and chips that power computing, sensors, and AI. To set the stage, semiconductors are part of the broader technology landscape under hardware and specifically electronics alongside consumer devices. They underpin countless innovations we rely on daily. Semiconductors conduct electricity better than insulators like glass, but not as well as conductors like copper, enabling precise control of electrical flow. This ability forms the backbone of electronics, allowing tiny circuits to guide electricity into binary states, on or off, ones and zeros, which form the language of computers. From semiconductors, we get essential products like microprocessors, the brains of computers, running instructions, graphics processing units, GPUs, critical for rendering images and powering AI applications, memory chips, key for storing data. The journey from raw silicon to finished products like microprocessors or GPUs begins with silicon, a material abundant in nature but requiring exceptional precision to refine. Purified silicon is shaped into wafers, which are thin, circular slices acting as the foundation for semiconductor manufacturing. These wafers become the canvas for creating transistors, tiny switches that control electrical signals. A wafer can hold billions of transistors, interconnected to form circuits. Circuits, in turn, process these signals to perform specific tasks, ultimately becoming chips that power our devices. Why does size matter in semiconductors? When you hear terms like 7 nanometers or 2 nanometers, they refer to the size of the transistors on a chip. Smaller transistors mean more can fit on a chip, increasing performance and energy efficiency while reducing production costs per function. Producing semiconductors is one of the most precise and demanding processes in modern manufacturing. A single defect, like a speck of dust, can ruin an entire chip, and the tools used must operate at nanometer scales in ultra-clean environments. This level of complexity explains why only a few companies dominate the industry. Let's talk about two giants in this field, NVIDIA and Huawei. NVIDIA, founded in 1993 by Jensen Huang, is a leader in GPUs, which are essential for gaming, AI applications, and data centers. With 60.92 billion in revenue for 2024, NVIDIA's dominance in the semiconductor industry is clear. Huawei, established in 1987 by Ren Zhengfei, is a telecommunications and technology giant, a private company with $91.3 billion in revenues for 2024. Huawei's scale is immense. Ren's background as a former engineer in the People's Liberation Army has fueled U.S. concerns over Huawei's ties to the Chinese government, leading to sanctions restricting its access to critical semiconductor technologies. Despite this, Huawei has adapted and continued to innovate. The U.S.-China semiconductor rivalry has escalated into a technological cold war. The U.S. restricts China's access to advanced chips, citing security concerns, while China focuses on domestic self-sufficiency under initiatives like Made in China 2025. However, significant gaps remain in China's ability to produce cutting-edge chips like 7 nanometers, which are vital for faster, more efficient devices. What about Moore's Law? This principle, that the number of transistors on a chip doubles approximately every two years, has driven exponential growth in computing power. Over the past decade, this has enabled nearly 100-fold advancements fueling breakthroughs in AI and real-time applications. In 2025, we anticipate continued progress in smaller chip sizes like 2 nanometers, which will enhance AI capabilities and energy efficiency. NVIDIA's Jensen Huang points out that their innovations across hardware and software are outpacing Moore's Law, setting the stage for faster systems. However, challenges like physical constraints and rising costs mean the industry must embrace new paradigms such as 3D stacking, to sustain progress. Semiconductors are at the center of a technological and geopolitical race. In 2025, we expect progress from leading companies like NVIDIA and AMD in the U.S., while Huawei and Semich in China continue advancing their capabilities. 
these firms are driving innovations in AI applications and addressing challenges in supply chains and domestic production. At both sides, we'll continue to explore these developments from both Western and Chinese perspectives, shedding light on how this critical